Hey guys, it's Tate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, and for some of you guys that are new around here, there is a type of video that I put out during Mondays every single week in FIFA 20 Ultimate Team last year I did called the Market Outlook videos, and we're gonna continue that this year. Basically what we do is we take a look at the content, at the promo, at the market movements, and everything that we could see up in the next week of FIFA Ultimate Team, kind of look at it analytically, maybe some things we can prepare for, and also talk about, um, you know, earlier on when squad battles are relevant, we'll talk about what happened with the market the night before during squad battle. So this is kind of like a preview video for the week, kind of what you can expect, and then maybe we'll talk a bit more about especially what's gonna happen today on that Monday or the next day, Tuesday, for whatever is relevant in that time. So this is market outlook video number one of FIFA 21 and I'm stoked because the game, we're in full swing boys. The game has been out for almost a week now. Uh, as of today, it'll be what, five days since we got on the web app last week on Wednesday. So it is freaking dope that we are here. We've got coins, we're rolling. Everything is moving in the right direction and we are getting closer and closer to just actually being on the full game, which is pretty freaking hype. So I wanna talk about stuff that happened today and it's going to happen, well, going to happen today, going to happen tomorrow, and throughout the rest of the week this week. This is a massive week in FIFA, man. This is when everybody else gets on the game. Of course, such a small, and I just want to remind you guys of this, such a small percentage of the user base actually has had the game on the console with either the EA Play uh, or even just a, such a small amount of the user base even gets on the web app or the companion app right now that there's just a such a large amount of people that haven't even touched this game yet and don't even have it downloaded, don't even have it like ready to go and their clubs haven't even been started. So we'll talk about that stuff throughout the week this week and how that will impact the market. But um, I also want to talk about stuff that's happening today and market movements that we saw even yesterday because right now it is uh, Monday morning for a lot of you dudes. It is the 5th of October and I think today... This is confirmed by EA, by the way. I can't find the webpage. There's something to do with ones to watch. It's not this page. There's another webpage they put out, and it guaranteed, it said that today and tomorrow, Monday and Tuesday, there will be ones to watch content. We might today get a player pick vote and also a ones to watch player SBC. I don't know, and that is confirmed. Either today or tomorrow, we're getting... Uh, both of those things. One might happen today, one might happen tomorrow. Not entirely sure, but we're getting a once to watch card SBC and a player pick vote for a person that will later get an SBC that will come out on the 9th um, on what is FIFA's deadline day. Now I know today is actually deadline day for the transfer window in real life. So that's kind of cool. There's going to be a lot to follow and a lot to watch uh, and a lot of Fabrizio here we go tweets. But um, I just wanted to kind of point that out to you guys that we are guaranteed SBCs. It doesn't really say in here, it's on a different webpage, but a different or a once to watch player pick vote. Oh, it's right here. It is right here. Make sure you log into foot on October 5th and 6th, both in game and through the companion app to vote for the player who you think deserves the once to watch item. The winner of the once to watch vote will get released during OTW. Yes. So I think this SBC though is also going to come either today or tomorrow inside a foot because it's a part of the early access right so i actually might see that sbc coming tuesday with the vote coming today and monday so that's just something to watch out for and we'll talk about that actually let's talk about that right now we had squad battle rewards right just you know last night actually what is it like a few hours before this video goes live we had squad battle rewards on the market and a lot of things changed and i want to talk about that and of course how that applies to the upcoming week with those SBCs upcoming, right? With, with these SBCs upcoming, I'm honestly starting to look at SBC fodder as a possible investment. We've never really had SBCs this, this early. Last year, we did have a little bit. Um, and all I'm thinking about is it depends on the player who they give the SBC to. I mean, that makes a whale of a difference. That makes the biggest difference of, of it all. But I think that SBC fodder could rise 81 rated, 82, 83, 84. Anything over 84, though, I'm just not so sure that they would drop an SBC that would be that expensive at the start of foot just because they know that most people on this game don't have like any coins. So they're putting an SBC out. That's why always the first player of the month are usually really good value in the, in the first couple of weeks or so of October. In the next couple of weeks too, we'll probably get player of the month for La Liga. That voting is out. Player of the month for um, Premier League. That voting is out. So just be kind of wary for those things and we'll talk about them as they come up because those should be coming pretty soon. But I'm really starting to look at SBC fodder now, especially the low range. If you're somebody who's on a decent amount of coins, you could probably even do a club stock on this. And if you think 
that this SBC is going to be somebody that would be, you know, very highly valuable. People just love SBCs in FIFA anyway. You know, sink your coins into a couple of these cards. Maybe do a club stock of 82s, 83s, and some of the 84s. Because, of course, these guys are going to bounce a lot when an SB comes out, SBC comes out that requires them. But that time is just not yet. So, again, speaking of squad battle rewards, right? That's kind of the ones to watch talk I wanted to have today. Speaking of squad battle rewards last night, a lot of popular and meta players... This was kind of the thing, right? There was actually a decent amount of sell-off before SB rewards last night. And I think what that was, was people were thinking that a lot of supply would come to these cards that they wanted to buy for their teams. So they were selling those cards before rewards and then going to buy them afterwards. And what that did was it created a very large buyback in the first, yeah, about an hour or two after rewards actually came out right so we had guys at joe gomez who pre-rewards were down towards ninety thousand coins and this isn't even one of the biggest fluctuations this is actually a really small one but you can see this later in the day he started to get sold off down to 92k hit 93k and has bounced back up very quickly since then happened a lot with some other cards as well rashford was almost 150 van de beek was 22 um i was watching promes during squad battle rewards he was actually under Right around 7,000 coins, bounced all the way back to 8.8. .8. Lucas was 70k flat during rewards. Zakaria was 32. I bought Fakirs at 16, 17,000 coins. Tamori, even some of the low rated cards were down at like 6.7k. He bounced all the way back to 8.4. So a lot of cards during rewards went down and they, they've bounced back because people bought them. I think I'm part of it, I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, because I think part of this might have been investing, right? I bought some Lucas Hernandez at like 18, 19,000 coins where he was before rewards, as you can see right down in here. Uh, but now he's bounced back up. Is this rise going to continue into today and into Tuesday? I think it will, because what you're having on the market right now is, you know, people are getting more coins, but we've already had a lot of people buy their initial teams. We already had that huge surge in price on a lot of players from that Thursday into Friday when we saw the prices go absolutely mad that day. Since then, we haven't had that big of a surge, right? Because, you know, there's not many new people that are coming onto the game and playing games and getting those boosts for rivals, uh, placement match coins. But on Tuesday, it's going to be a different story. More people are going to be getting on the game. More FIFA points are going to be opened. And what does that mean for the market in terms of these top 100 uh, popular players on Flipbin? A lot of the meta guys, you know, like a, a Rodrigo or some of the higher tier meta cards that are, you know, expensive and super sought after, like an Usman, like a Martial, like a Bale, a Jesus. Um, or a Joe Gomez, a lot of those cards are going to reach that next level of price jump or price increase just because there's going to be even more coins on the market. And those are elite quality players that a lot of people want to have and that more people will be able to afford after having an unlimited time on the game. They'll have the full version access uh, or EA access will be done. The full version they will be able to get on. And it's just going to cause the market to go up, I think, as we get into this next part of the week on the super duper meta stuff. Now, of course, we still haven't had the price range updates. I expect those to come today. And that's why I think today is going to be a very interesting market day on this Monday. Because whenever these ranges get updated, it's going to be crazy to follow because there's so many cards that are extinct right now. It's nuts, right? We just had another card go extinct tonight. Ferlin Mendy at 100,000 coins is going extinct, which is wild. Uh, but I think it, it's just, it's the way that it is, man. Because I think this card is absolutely every... It's worth it. He's the left best left back in the game. He's got the hype. He's got the links. I think he's going to go over 100K. Some people think it's too expensive. I honestly don't. I really don't think it is just based off of the hype that he has. I think he still has room to go after his price range gets updated because all the pros uh, want to use that card. Like He's the only left back that pros want to use. Uh, in this game. So just be careful with the price ranges. I made a video on that yesterday. My thoughts are unchanged on the cards that are getting price range updates. And again, I'm still kind of leery about it, still not super happy about it because all of the cards that got updates. Oh, I made another sale, boys. Let's go. Looks like we got a Delaney to sell at 5,000 coins. GG's. We would have bought that for uh, 3.9K during rewards. W. But a lot of the cards um, that are getting price range updates. Are some lower rated players right like ake i know he's getting a once to watch but he's low rated 79 rated i think ake is or something like that there's other cards that are that are extinct at low ratings that i'm just kind of scared about i'm scared the supply is going to be too much 
and I, I am a little bit scared that they could drop. So that's one thing just to be wary of again. Uh, but other than that, this should be the beginning of the end, basically, for even cards that are kind of like Tamori. Tamori might last a bit longer because he's got that 80 pace. He's Premier League. He's Chelsea. He's English. He's got the links. But other high-priced players, I, I think of a guy like Todibo um, a lot. This guy, to me, is somebody who's going to get hit with a lot of supply really fast. I know he's 2,000 coins. He's already started dropping from where he was at on Friday at 3,000. I think cards like this, even some cards are like four, like five, 6,000 coins are going to really, really start to drop that are 78 rated or below, especially. Those cards are really going to start to drop because the supply is just going to become overwhelming and they're not going to have enough demand to kind of keep up with that supply. Same thing for my man, Ki Chang Huang. What a name and what a player. Four-star weak foot, obviously a great starter card. He's still around 3,000 coins. I think he really drops this week because uh, people are just going to get more coins and a lot more supply is going to be coming onto this game. And that's going to make the meta cards rise more and the low rated cards start to drop. Other things that we have coming this week, of course, is that OTW promo coming at the end of the week. All right. That's one thing that we have to talk about is the out of packs gold investments that a lot of people are making right now. Of course, team of the week one is in packs until Wednesday. Um, this, you know, this night of Sunday night into Monday was kind of their last supply. In my opinion, Tuesday, they'll get supplied a little bit from people that open packs. Uh, but a lot of these cards have really been inflated a lot. Will they continue to rise after they go out of packs? Probably most of these cards will. Some of them might not. Um, but I just don't see Vardy is one that kind of worries me depending on player of the month, uh, Dominic La Calvert Lewin, and maybe what other informs we could get this week. If we get any other informs. Uh, English striker informs like Ali Watkins could get an inform in team of the week two. team of the week two is another thing to talk about. People are investing in golds. They're going to go out of packs for that. Uh, specifically guys like Holland, uh, who I think is like 112,000 coins right now or something like that. Um, he was around, you know, a little under a hundred K yesterday before he scored a couple goals right now. He's actually down at a hundred K again. Um, but I, I expect this guy to rise back up in the hype towards, um, towards Wednesday. So if you got a Holland, if you invested in him, wait for his prize to rise up a little bit more as we head into Wednesday, uh, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, just because of people wanting to buy him because out of packs cards, right? Like think about Sun. Sun had two goals today for Spurs and his card went from 300 and like, I think it was like 315, 316,000 coins. He went all the way up to 350 and he's actually a little bit past 350 right now, 365 because people think that he might go out of packs I bet that Ollie Watkins card is expensive right now. Um, this is like definitely a way to trade early on in, in FIFA is buying the gold cards of players that are getting, if I can actually type in 2000, or that are prospected to get in forms that next week. Yeah, Ollie Watkins right now is 1600 coins. I'm pretty sure that he was like 1000 coins before the game today. Um, but of course, he get, he's going to get an 81 rated in form. It's going to be a pretty spicy card. That could be a card a lot of people want to go after next week in Team of the Week 2 if it does come. So out of packs investing for the ones to watch stuff and for Team of the Week 2 uh, informs is really going to heat up. Uh, I actually have a Van de Beek on my transfer targets right now uh, as a ones to watch investment. I've got an Osaman as some investments as well. I think he's like 2K. Yeah, so I was buying it for like 2,300 coins, 2,400 coins. Uh, I was going to take that one there, but I missed it. Um, you know, this might be a card that hits 5k out of packs, you know, like a starter squad for Serie A. People want to use that league. You know, there still might be a couple opportunities for you to, to invest in some cards that might get ones to watches. Um, this one though, is something that I would be very careful with because as we are on deadline day and speaking of ones to watches, Alex Tellez is supposedly going to Manchester United, right? So Regulon and Robertson are the top two left backs in the Prem. I feel like Regulon, who has a ton of supply, depending on the price of Tellez's card, which right now I think Tellez is like 20K for his Porto card because people are buying it because they know that Tellez is going to get a Man U card and that Porto card is going to become very rare. Um, I think, talking about Premier League left backs though, I think that Tellez coming to Prem is going to make Regulon actually drop. I think Tellez is a better card than Regulon. He'll be a little bit more pricey than Regulon, but more people will want him instead of using this Spanish left back from Spurs, although he still could get a once to watch, which could make his card price rise out of packs. Just be a little bit careful with this investment. That was one thing I wanted to shout out to you guys. 
uh, this week. So that's what you're going to kind of see for like the middle of the week this week. It's also going to be very interesting to trade with SBC fodder once again for the advanced SBCs. I know a lot of you guys might be moving past that and you're like, yo, man, why are you still talking about advanced SBCs and trading with non rares? Because honestly, boys, the fluctuations on these are insane. When you have a card going from 1000 coins to 3000 coins, and if you have 100k and you buy a lot, you, let's say you just buy like 50 of those cards at 1k and you sell them all at 3k, that is big time money, right? That's big time money. So just watch out for that stuff this week because that's going to become prevalent again as more and more new people come onto the game. They have to do those SBCs, right? There's people that still have not completed Actually, that's me. I have not completed the hybrid leagues. I still have to do the give me five and the first 11 SBC. I should probably get those done here pretty soon after squad battles because they're a bit cheap right now. But there's going to be a lot more people that have, you know, motivation to do a league and nation hybrid, do hybrid leagues, do marquee matchups and all those packs to start off the game um, this next week because new people were coming on the game and stuff like that. So again, this week, the market's going to be volatile. There's going to be a lot of things that go up and go down with price ranges, and it's going to be crazy to follow. We're going to talk about it all here. A lot of ways to make coins right now. We'll talk about a lot of those ways too throughout the next week. But I wanted to give you this guys this video just to, to kind of talk about what we could like see content-wise, promo-wise, and just with people coming onto the game. This is like the first full week of FIFA, man. The first full week of FIFA, which is freaking dope. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. If you have any questions, comment them down below. If you enjoyed it, smash a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.